Walmart's holding its annual shareholder meeting today. Senator Bernie Sanders is slated to attend that event. The Democratic presidential candidate set to introduce a proposal pushing for a $15 an hour minimum wage. Walmart currently has a minimum wage of 11 an hour, lower than rivals like Amazon, Target, and Costco. The retail giant says it's hoping Sanders uses the meeting as a constructive opportunity rather than a campaign stop. Uh, in addition to 15, he would like to have hourly employees get a seat on the board as well. Yeah, that's something that Senator uh, Elizabeth Warren talked to me about in an interview that I did uh, earlier this year. What I think is interesting is that, re remember, Doug McBillan really led this. I mean, he's raised, raised wages very big. He's got a very, uh, if you talk to them, they don't have a lot of turnover anymore. I mean, I think that's often an indicator of, of correct pay uh, in the market, if, uh, high pay. So I don't know. I mean, Senator Sanders obviously is, uh, you know, he's favors a bit more of a, let's say, a socialist input. Well, they've, they've w raised wages twice since 2016. In fact, the first time we were down there with them when they announced it. Um, and they say with benefits, the average is 17 and a half. How about the college things that they're doing? How about, they've made a lot of changes. I, I know Senator Sanders is grumpy. But, geez, I, it's hard to match all the things that Walmart's done in the, in the last and couple of years. And to your point, doing it because it, they thought it was smart for their business. Yes. You can reduce churn in your employment ranks. You can increase the satisfaction of your customer by having veteran employees on the floor who actually know what they're doing. Right. Any number of different ways. Uh, Amazon, by the way, also has gone up, as we know, some right. time back. Remember Bezos even challenging some people. They're at, what, at least 15, I think, at Amazon yeah. as a base. Um, always strange when you see government sort of mandating. I mean, we do have a minimum wage, but mandating what companies should be paying their workers. But, you know, they're really, I mean, I was going over all the good things that that Walmart has done lately for workers. I mean, here's one. Um, they, uh, look at this, debt-free college education for about a dollar a day. I mean, uh, shouldn't Senator Sanders be talking about that? They're helping remove barriers for high schoolers to gain access to higher ed. This is not the Walmart that we used to know. They're making major strides. They're taking a page from Jim Senegal's book. And I think that this is rather amazing, and they're doing it. Uh, yes, it's good business, but I also think they're doing it because they've got a regime that says, you know what, we gotta, we got to do more for the workers. So Senator Sanders may be harassing, well, maybe suggesting that Walmart is a bad actor. I would tell you I think the Walmart's a much better actor than it used to but be. But you, re you reference Senegal and Costco, of course, which has always been noted for its ability, and Carl knows this having followed the company closely, to pay people far more but there's no and much offer more much better benefits, benefits and not suffer at all as a result.